Alex, why do you have a trash bag around your neck? <laughs> listen, listen. Today we are fixing what was probably a mistake. And I'm not saying that this hair hasn't been fun for a month. I was a redhead for a month and I had red hair 10 years ago. Alas, I do have a shirt on. I think, I think I'm done. <laughs> I really appreciate the support on the hair. I've enjoyed having it for a month. We still, we're waiting for our floors to be put back in, so don't mind that. They ripped up the floor because the water damaged and they're gonna put in new floor in this area. So if you see that. Um, anyway, I went to Cosmo Prof and I'm gonna suck out the red. I'm gonna do it a few times to really get it all out and kind of see where we end up. <laughs> so this is that magical potion that will help to uh, get this hair dye out. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do it a few times and then I'll have to see where I'm at. But um, I would honestly like to believe this is the last time I leave the blonde behind because every time I just feel sad and not like myself. You know what, I, I, I scratched the itch. I had the itch to do this and no regrets really because like it was fun for a month. <laughs> Listen, I know some of y'all be pulling this stuff but you just don't happen to put it on the internet. So let's keep this a judge free zone. <laughs> Listen, this is just how I've always been. I think it's fun to change up your hair color and I do think it's really pretty. Like the funny thing is it's actually at the color I originally wanted now. It really is. It's like a reddish brown. It's really pretty. It's just, it's just not me. All right, I'm gonna shut up and stop explaining myself cause that's literally all I got. And I'm gonna mix this up and <laughs> We're gonna go on this journey together. It's funny because they were actually supposed to like reinstall the floors today, but they're still moist. <laughs> I know some people don't like that word. That word personally doesn't bother me. They're supposed to reinstall the floors today, but it's still too wet. So um, I had the day kind of planned for the floor. Now I had the day open and I'm like, well, <laughs> no time like the present. <laughs> All right, 20 minutes under heat. We're definitely gonna do, I bought four. <laughs> We're gonna do it either two or three times, which is what's recommended. I bought four because I didn't know if I would need two per round, but thankfully I was able to make one work. It's the first one. We'll see how it looks. Um, but thankfully I'm gonna go in, wash this, rinse it for like five minutes. Then you can do it again on damp slash towel dried hair. So that's a blessing. <laughs> All right. See you soon. Out here and looking like Eminem. Not bad for round one. Let's put in round two. Round two is done. Let's reveal. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, this stuff's really good. I'm probably gonna do it one last time because they don't recommend more than three, but we're getting there. <laughs> oh boy. Don't know where I'm gonna go from here either. I have to assess how it looks when it's dry. I'll probably have to go to the salon for like highlights. Okay, it doesn't even look that different from the last time, but a little better. <laughs> All right, last round. Last round and then what's left is what's left. All right, round three. So apparently the key with this is to wash it out with as hot water as you can, because it's like opening up the hair cuticle to remove the color. So like you can open it up with really hot water and just wash, 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 so. <laughs> Many hours later. All right, you guys, so <laughs> this is where we ended up. Um, and it's so funny because like I surprisingly don't even hate it. It's actually a really pretty kind of strawberry blonde. So until I can like get to the salon, I don't hate it at all. So since I had done a 20 volume the first time, I've kind of like, like I'm all actually pretty much one tone, which is interesting. Like I've got a little bit of dimension, but like, you know how my underneath was like way darker before? I guess it's a little bit darker, but like not that much. It's like still feeling really healthy. I did a deep conditioning mask when I did the last treatment and it feels really good because that Rusk color corrector has no bleach in it. But honestly, I don't hate this at all. I think it's kind of pretty. <laughs> you just never know. And I'm happy to take you guys along on this journey. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is the next day. Um, Starbucks has pumpkin spice today. So I am heavily resisting because you guys remember that amazing drink I discovered on TikTok. I think it's, I have it written in my notes on my phone because like I loved it that much. I think it's like an iced chai with oat milk, 
um, and like brown sugar or something and pumpkin cold foam on top. OMG. Uh, anyway, I the whole reason I'm out right now, first Bruno had a vet appointment because he had to get his blood drawn before he's gonna get neutered at some point. So he's with me here. And I'm gonna run into Ulta. I need to get a clarifying shampoo because I'm gonna do another round of color remover today. I have been in touch with my hairstylist um, over at Belux and she said it actually got out a lot more than she expected. So um, I'm gonna do one more round and then wash with clarifying shampoo to try to get out the rest of the dye or as much more as I can. <laughs> so I'm gonna run into Ulta. I kinda wanna poke around too and see if there's anything new and fun that we can try together. And the great thing is with this car, I can leave the air conditioning, like I can start the car and leave the air on um, while the dog's in the car. So kind of like, honestly, this car has a lot of features like Tesla, I will say. Um, it's fantastic. Like this, it has some self-driving, like being able to start the car and have the air on while I go in a store to keep him cool. Like it, it has a lot of really good features. If you're looking for a good SUV, truly the, the new Hyundai Tucson's are really really good and it was a really great price point like with all of these cool features and I have like the base trim so gotta say it was very good you did very good today Buna very good and then I'm gonna stop and get Yara coffee and I'm contemplating if I want to get myself the pumpkin spice drink I don't know yet but first we're gonna run into Ulta pumpkin spice All right, grabbing clarifying shampoo for after the color remover. And then I also got this no sweat post-workout mist to help with refreshing the hair after a workout rather than using just like dry shampoo. So I like this brand. Okay, in line at Starbucks. I actually did not go crazy. There wasn't a whole lot of makeup that like really caught my attention, so yeah, with my hair. Um, isn't that right, Bruna? I don't know why I call him Bruna, Brunana, Bruniana. Well, it actually, it started when my friend's daughter called him Bruna and how it just stuck with us. <laughs> so this, as you saw, is the clarifying shampoo I got. This is a really good price. Paul Mitchell, I think it was like 16 bucks. Um, it's their shampoo too, clarifying. Um, and then I got, because my hair has been through quite a lot, um, I really enjoy the Joyco K-Pack. So I got the uh, Reconstructing Shampoo, Repairing Damaged Hair, and the K-Pack Conditioner. It's got like keratin in it. And then you guys saw I got the No Sweat Post-Workout Mist. I watched a TikTok of this girl. Um, she used a post-workout mist. I think it was from Bumble and Bumble. But like she doesn't follow the regular directions. I wish I knew who it was. I just see so much of it in passing. Um, but uh, her routine was she would like kind of honestly douse it on her wet, sweaty scalp area and then blow dry and it looked like brand new hair. So I love that idea because, you know, putting like dry shampoo on your wet, sweaty scalp just makes it like pasty. So I'm going to try it with that. That makes total sense. And I've been doing the elliptical like every day. I know a lot of people have been wanting a gastric bypass um, update as well as I think we're going into um, nine months-ish, um, or has it been nine months? I don't even know, it's a blur. Um, but I did break the plateau, I've lost 10 more pounds. So if you are also going through weight loss surgery and you hit a plateau, it's normal. Just keep living your life, doing what you can. Um, I think the thing is too with gastric bypass or maybe weight loss surgery in general, is it comes off really fast and frequent in the beginning and then you hit the plateau um, it, several times even and even though you're doing the same things and it happens and it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you or what you're doing um, it just happens just keep doing you I think um, me getting more workout on has helped push past the plateau I think it's natural um, my doctor told me it was natural so um, yeah I've lost 10 more pounds since then um, and I'm just feeling really good I'm not drowning in the number. I definitely did get a little discouraged when I was in the plateau. Um, I was like, is the weight loss over? Like, 
whatever and I really am at a point where like I just I feel amazing like I feel really good in my skin I feel strong and healthy um, and I'm just gonna keep living my best healthy happy life and whatever happens happens you know um, and then I only got these two makeup products so I did grab the pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced it's so pretty oh and the names are so cute pick of the patch um, crust issues, <laughs> second helping, thankful, squash it, toasted. Um, so we can do several looks this fall with this palette. And then I got these really pretty Ardell naked lashes. They're so pretty. Ugh. Like they're so fluttery. So at least we can do like a fun eye look with those things. But um, I wasn't about to like spend coin and all done unless things were speaking to me. I was looking for um, this lip stain I've been seeing everywhere and they didn't have it. So um, anyway, let me know if you guys have any favorite makeup products you've been loving lately that I should try. Um, because yeah, <laughs> I would love to try it. Also, I'm not going to get the fall drink because it's literally 85 degrees and it genuinely feels wrong. So I don't know just doesn't feel right <laughs> we'll wait so here's the tea <laughs> I did my hair again and it looks exactly the same I am full-on strawberry blonde <laughs> so I'm actually about to work out I spent some time with my mom today so I didn't end up getting glam I'm tomorrow I think I will because I have some stuff to film so we'll see how it looks glammed up tomorrow <laughs> oh I haven't like shared this with the internet yet you guys are gonna freaking roast me but um, yeah, my mom just left um, and it's like 4.30. Uh, I'm gonna hop on the elliptical and watch some YouTube or reality TV. I, if you guys don't, prep your grapes, prep your fruit. It is just so much more enjoyable. I take them all off and wash them and just have them in here. It's just grab and go, grab and go. Do that with like all your fruits and veggies and they're just more enjoyable to eat, truly. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I am kind of curious how this is going to look styled. <laughs> like, I I really don't hate it. I don't want to keep it, but I really don't hate it. <laughs> Good morning. So, it is 9.15. I am going to head out soon to take Bruno to his grooming appointment. This is his third grooming appointment. We started him young. They have, like, a puppy program to, like, get them used to it, which is great. Highly recommend doing that if you get a puppy. So, yeah, he's... He doesn't mind getting groomed at all and they're all so nice like I bring him in and they know it Bruno <laughs> so I'm gonna go bring him to get groomed and probably run a few errands while he's in there because it usually just takes about an hour for the puppy grooming for the puppies I don't know why it's the cutest thing in the world to me when he has his legs stuck out like a little frog <laughs> you look like a little frog are you a little froggy are you a little froggy? Yeah, your tail wag. What's your tail wag? <laughs> you know we're about to go somewhere. You wanna go for a ride? We'll go for a ride, Bruno? We'll go for a ride. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Guys, look at all the cute Halloween toys. Treats are in my future. <laughs> it's so cute. I feel like you would like this one. It's like a water bottle in there. He would love that, actually. I was actually looking at some on Amazon too, but he's definitely gonna need some seasonal, <laughs> seasonal toys. Bruno is very spoiled, but he deserves it. I just dropped him off to get groomed. Um, they have a grooming at this place. They love him, it makes me so happy. Okay, it's been a minute and we are doing another crumble review. Last time I filmed it on TikTok and you guys were like, I want it to just be in the YouTube video like the old days where you don't have to go watch everything on different platforms i totally get it it can be very annoying i have like a makeshift tripod here um so you guys know i can't have a lot of sugar but as i have mentioned before um i don't restrict myself i allow myself to have a little bite a little taste so i can still enjoy life but i just can't have a lot of it or i'll get sick so i want to take a bite of each of the crumble cookies and then share them with my mom and Yar. So they had like several flavors I wanted to try. I just got the four pack because it takes the three of us forever to finish these, even just four, because they're such big cookies. But I'm so excited to try a little bit of each one. 
so here are the four that I got as you can see they're massive this is my second time trying crumble cookies and I was very torn because they did have a pumpkin chocolate chip one um, that I skipped on but I'm sure they'll have more fall stuff it's still really early so the first one I want to try is the pink sugar cookie apparently it's a new formula um, and like there's a lot of chit chat about these uh, you guys know like this is a pretty classic cookie just like the pink frosted sugar cookie so let's give it a try it is chilled crumble cookies they either come warmed or chilled I think always I'm pretty new to this but um, it's fun it's just fun to try the flavors and let you guys know how they are Mmm, it's like a classic sugar cookie. You know the ones at the grocery store that are like soft with the pink frosting But this is like, you know, obviously the homemade version. I think it's really good I would give that like a 9 out of 10 really yummy and I actually like that it's chilled this one I was really excited about because every day I believe they do like a mystery cookie and today's was cornbread and I've seen this one on TikTok before so it's warm cornbread and then it has like kind of a honey drizzle and I think this is like a butter frosting or something so let's try this one mm. oh my god that is a 10 out of 10 that is so good it's like it's literally like a cornbread cookie and like the kind of buttery frosting oh my god i wish they didn't put like the butter frosting just like a clump in the middle i wish it was just like a normal like spread of frosting but that is really yummy okay next up this is cookie butter this one is also warm. Cookie butter lava, maybe, I think it was called. So it might have, might have something going on in the middle. Let's break it open. Yes, there's something happening in the middle. There's some sort of something in the middle. So I'm gonna have to like get really, we're getting a little messy. Okay, what does that taste like? Animal crackers? <laughs> I can't quite figure out what that tastes like. I don't know if I've ever even had cookie butter. I can gather that's what that is, and it's totally delish. I wouldn't want to eat more than a little bite, though, because it's, like, really sweet. I'm going to give that one an 8. It's still really yummy. Like, just a little too much for me. And then this last one is lava. Chocolate lava cake, I think. So this one also has kind of like a gooey middle. This one's warm as well. We only got one chilled one. Let's take a little bite of the middle. Oh wow, that is, oh, that's really chocolatey. That's too chocolatey for me. I mean, it's really good. Like I know some people are ride or die for chocolate. It's just too chocolatey for me. That's like a seven. Now I wish I got the pumpkin one instead of that one. I think my favorite though is that cornbread. Oh my gosh, if you guys can get your hands on that one period so good so that's my little crumble review so now i'm just gonna go run some boring errands and then we'll pick up the dog and he'll be freshly fluffed and groomed look at this handsome boy you're so fluffy mama was jamming to kelsey ballerini guys he's so soft you look so good they do such a good job like oh just so soft and fluffy and you trimmed I can see your eyes better okay so I threw a curl in my hair I have not brushed it out yet I'm letting it really set in and I went ahead and threw on my base makeup and my brows and I thought we could play with our new palette and just do a little eye look together so this is the Too Faced oh guys it says it smells like pumpkin spice Okay, so here is what the palette looks like. Super cute. And here were the colors. Oh wait, I can just open it and show you the colors. Ooh, they're so pretty. Look at these. We have a really nice variety of matte and shimmer. <gasps> these are just so my style. It's just like so many warm, beautiful neutrals and then like a few pops of color. So I am gonna be filming a try on haul after this. So I think I wanna keep it neutral. So first I'm gonna grab this color. It's called Everything Nice. I'm just gonna throw this on my lid. It's my new palette and it's called Pumpkin Spice. Just in time for fall. Look at it. Does it smell good? It's supposed to smell like pumpkin spice. Do you smell it? No. Does it? I don't really either. That's upsetting. Is it scratch and sniff? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sc scratch it. You know what I just realized? This is the second slice palette. So this is the second pumpkin spice palette. There must have been a first one. Where is it from? 
Uh, Too Faced is the brand. I got Too-faced. it at Ulta yesterday. Cool. Yeah. I, w- I just realized that it doesn't smell like pumpkin spice, though, so now I'm bummed. So do they come out with seasonal drops? Oh, you know it. You know there's going to be, like, a Christmas palette. Is, is there a, a peppermint? Um, We'll have to see if they put one out this year. But I'm really excited. Guys, we're entering fall. My favorite season. I warned Yarmin. I'm like, it's almost time to decorate. One of our neighbors already has out um, this massive like mummy skeleton that's like 10 feet tall in their lawn and I'm like oh yeah I just got that from Teddy Fresh it's a little uh, Snoopy hat can I just say with makeup and the hair styled it's kind of cute it's kind of cute I'm a, like a little ginger like people pay for this hair color I told you I didn't mind the hair color you kind of like it yeah Teddy Fresh and peanuts <laughs> I like this Maybe you should, do you want to get something from their Teddy Fresh uh, Peanuts collab? There's still some stuff left. Yeah? Yeah, I got like a couple little t-shirts. Um, I had to exchange one. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm a fan. All right, love you. Yep, love you. Okay, guys, I'm now taking crust issues. How cute is that? Looks like this. <laughs> like trust issues, but crust issues. Guys, do you guys like pie? I just like don't really care for pie. I just, and in the holiday season, I feel like I should like pie. I just really don't care for pie. All right, let's blend those two together. Oh, this is already so pretty and it goes with my hair. The hair is kind of pretty. <laughs> I know it's not anywhere near what I wanted. I'm gonna put toasted in the middle, which is this color. Really great transition shade, just to kind of help blend. There's nothing like a matte fall toned eye look to just make me feel alive. So yeah, probably the next vlog, actually definitely the next vlog after this one, cause I have, I think one or two more vlogs ahead of this one. We will decorate for fall. So I gotta pull up everything from the basement. So oh, we have a lot of really pretty darker tones that we could throw in. I think I'm gonna do this one. This one's called Eyes on the Pies. <laughs> Why is festive stuff just the best? It just makes me so happy. This brush is great. It's the Morphe M503. This is a great kind of dense crease brush to lay down your color. And then I blend it in more with the Morphe M532. These two brushes are like, these are my three go-to brushes. This one is a Scott Barnes 63. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush really. And then I use the Morphe M503 to lay down the crease colors. And then I blend them out with the M532. Those are like probably the three I use every time I do an eye look, you know? Like a simple eye look like this. It doesn't take much. And then just blend. With the dense brush, when you lay down that color, that's where the majority of the pigment is gonna go. And then you're gonna wanna soften it out afterwards with the fluffier brush. Ooh, this is so pretty. And I think I'm gonna do a soft eyeshadow wing with the shade Spicetacular. This deep matte maroon. And I'm just using the Scott Barnes 59 brush. And I just am gonna do a baby wing. Putting on like eyeliner with eyeshadow and an angled brush is really easy. You can just press it along your lash line and there's not nearly as much pressure as doing it with like a liquid liner. And then I feel like it's easier as well to do your wing like, it's so effortless. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this off, throw on these new lashes, and then we'll come back to do our lips. Okay, so I just threw on these lashes and they are so pretty. They are those Ardell 429 Naked Lashes. They're super, super wispy. So I threw on MAC Spice Lip Liner, and then I wanted to try out the new MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. <laughs> and I'm gonna try the shade Gingerella, cute little name. This is what the packaging looks like. It is super duper pretty. And then it's just a twist up. I think it'll go really well with this look. It's like a super fall look right here. I'm just giving ginger vibes. Okay, the formula on these are 
amazing. It truly is like matte, it's soft, it is very velvety. I need to brush out these curls because I feel... Oh, wait, what? I forgot this piece. Or did it undo? I'm using my other beach waver, the thicker one. The lip is really pretty. I also have these Say um, Lip Blur Matte Blurring Lipsticks, which sound very similar. And I kind of want to throw this one on top. This one's called Modern, and it's a little bit more of a classic nude. And like, I think it'll tone it down a little because like this is pretty, but it's a little less nude than I want. I actually feel like that nuded it out a little bit. I'll we'll have to try this one on its own another time. Let me just get this random little piece. All that is stuck in my head is, it's corn, a big lump with knobs, it's got the juice. Now we brush it out and get that really pretty wave. That's the beauty of the beach waver. Like, I know this isn't my color, but it's, it's kind of pretty. I also feel like I'm looking very whitewashed on camera. Like, in real life, I feel like my hair and myself look warmer, which looks better. Anyway, we got to play with our new makeup, and I'm going to end this vlog here because now I am going to go film a little try on haul. So stay tuned for that, but I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for more hair adventures. So subscribe, make sure you don't miss it because we have a journey to go on, but I love you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.